you may be afraid of your power and it's stopping you from stepping into your destiny you know that you're powerful but it's the fear of said power that is crippling you hear me hear me out i once was in that same place where i feared my darkness i feared my shadow if you will and it's because i didn't know what was hiding in the darkness right and yet that should let you know that it's powerful fact of the matter is we don't want to hurt anybody with our power okay you fear hurting others with your power and so you won't step into it because you don't want to sabotage you don't want to destroy you don't want to you do not want to even self-destruct but i beg of you you are missing out on your calling and not only that until you get in position other people cannot get into theirs so the Holy Spirit was sharing with me about how men are, excuse me, right now being called into leadership positions, right? And most of these men in particular are fearing their dominance. They know that they have a dominant spirit. They know they are meant to lead. And yet maybe perhaps in the past situation, scenario, they may have abused that power and they're not easily receiving their second chance at power. And so fact of the matter is, is that you have the power, but when God, oh, I love God. I just love God so much. Oh my God. I just love God so much. When God gets a hold of you, he's going to reveal to you your power and then he's going to require you and you will willingly do this. Hear me. Oh my God. You will willingly submit that power under the highest power, which is love. So the very thing you're fearing is just how powerful you are. And yet you don't understand that once you yield that power to the highest power, which is love, you will truly use it for love. You'll understand just how powerful you are. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Like, you're like, I don't want to hurt anybody. That just means you need to submit that love or submit that power to God. Right. For women. Right. We are very sensual. Our feminine energy is very seductive. It's very dark. Right. It's very creative. It's alluring. It's we can tear down nations with our energy. We can tear down, bring down kingdoms with our feminine essence. And yet that's power. But when we submit that power under the highest power, which is love. Right. We know how to use it. He teaches us how to use it. He teaches us how to control it rather than to let it control us. And so whoever this message is for, you are and have been afraid of your power. And yet God is calling you to just surrender that power up to him. Yield that power up to him so he can show you how to use it. You don't have to fear what you are because that's essentially what you're doing. You're afraid of who you are. A while ago, I did a poem and it was, why are we afraid of love, right? And so you can scroll down. I don't know what post it is. It's probably a picture post. So just go through my photo reels. You'll, you'll find it. But essentially, when we're afraid of love, we're afraid of, afraid of ourselves. And it's not even that we're really afraid of ourselves. It's the power that we hold that we are afraid of. You feel that you'll fumble the bag. It makes me think about Noah's Ark, the movie, right? The latest one, the recreation of the story, right? Where man, okay, um, that was against Noah. He told Noah, you know, we have the power. God gave us dominion on the earth and so on and so forth, which he was right. But he was also wrong, okay? He was wrong in that he believed that because God gave him the power that that made him a god, no, God gave you the power so that you can come to him and surrender that power back up to him so he can show you how to steward it. <laughs> OK, this is why we have system in order. All right. Because when we do not use said system in order, it becomes destructive. We use that power for personal gain and selfish ambition. And that is out of alignment with God. So when you submit and surrender under God, OK, he will show you how to use that power to be a gentle giant in the earth 
And that's when you know you really got, man, I'm telling you, you know you really got something. You know you really got something. <laughs> Power that is just dispersed so easily is reckless. But controlled power? Oh my God. It's so sexy. It's so sexy. It's so attractive. So if you want to know how to turn someone on, it's that. Controlled power. Okay? Control your power. All right? But yes, step into it. Don't dim your light. The very thing that you're wanting, you already have. Do not let the enemy make you think otherwise. You already have the power. You just need to yield it up to God so he can teach you how to steward it. And you can walk in this earth as a gentle giant because you are literally that powerful. All right? So if you need more tips, tools on how to do this, click the link in my bio and grab my self-love workbook because this is going to make all the difference as to how you step into that power. You'll be even made aware as to where you're dispersing said power recklessly. All right, so dive on in, tap over there, click the link in my bio, grab that, and if you need your girl, you know where to find me.